Hey, what's up everybody to another game development episode on this channel. Today we will be making... No, we didn't make... So first of all, if you see that our our enemy right here can move around. This is the enemy part one. I showed you guys how you guys can actually uh, made this thing right here. If you didn't saw it, just go ahead and click on the annotation link or the description. I will be putting a link in there. You guys can check that out. Now let's get started. We will be if you if you just put your enemy here and play it. I don't see our enemy will f will not fall because our gravity is not working. It's just like roaming around and things. Okay, well today we will be fixing that. So how we will be fixing that? The first thing what you need to do to fix that is this color code. This code right here adds the gravity. So our enemy motion, our motion, our movement vector of that y position, that vector plus equals to our gravity. Now y plus equals, you may ask why not minus equals and stuff. Now it's, be it's because plus, plus equals, what the heck? Plus equals, yeah. Plus equals because in the y axis, if you go down, if you go down yeah if you go down it's the adding okay that's how it works okay so this is the thing if you now go play it as you can see it's a bit weird but it's, this still works we'll be fixing our collision system later on so first of all let's say that our enemy needs to do what behavior would you want it to so first let's add a node called raycast so ray raycast to d Rec has 2D and then pop it up here. And make sure it's enabled. Make sure it's in enabled because for some reason Godard just whenever you make it default it's disabled. I mean what the heck man. So first of all let's delete that thing. We'll be making that one. Recast. There you go. Yeah, this one. We'll zoom in low. This is the raycast. Now, what is the raycast? A raycast is an invisible ray from an origin to the position. So uh, we can check different collision detections using that thing. So to actually achieve this, you want to make sure that this is enabled. It's enabled. Now we have this. Now go to back to your transform go to position and you can add some positions say 20 24 is nice look 24 is really nice I found that out so now we will be opening up our script and we'll check for uh, our we'll say or and we'll say raycast 2d dot is colliding to false now why we are checking raycast 2d dot is colliding equals to false so because our raycast 2d is <coughs> going to be always be active so this our raycast no as you can see it's colliding with this thing so whenever it goes here it goes here somewhere so it becomes false so now we want to we know that we need to move right so we will be going here and we will be doing that. Now we need to add this line of code here that will be changing the position of the raycast every single time. So what you need to do is just like do that. So raycast 2d dot scale dot x no, minus plus equals to minus one. Minus y minus one it just changes the that thing to the opposite direction. We'll be changing that as well. So let's come over here. In if and our enemy direction is one, as you can see, we want to change our stride, but we want to change our raycast to as well. Okay, so it will be changing continuously. So let's change that up. So raycast to the scale up. Uh, we need to change our x-axis, our scale. We need to make it uh, the opposite of what we currently have. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's do that as well from here. If it's minus one, we need to change that thing. So now what you need to do is go back. Go back over here, our Raycast 2D. And I think we can play now. Should we? 
it adds a bit to weirdness. Okay. Let's go here. Okay, so there's a weird problem. Let's first disable gravity. I don't know why, but disabling it makes it much more harder. Nice. Okay, what's the problem? What's the problem here? So let's just just sh not do that here. Okay, I will explain. I will explain. What the heck? Oh, there you go, fixed. Oh my god, I was like too in into it. So as you can see, that's our thing. That's going here, here. Now, first of all, if you see that our 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 enemy comes here and then then move he, he should come over here that's a bug we will be fixing that later okay in the next episode in the next episode we what we'll be mainly doing is whenever we hit to the enemy we should destroy itself and we should uh, we should yeah we should quit the game that's the basics of this platform or whatever so that's the thing I want to show you the script one more time and explain whatever I'm doing here so let's explain the if why uh, our that thing got changed okay uh, because it gets changed because it's already in that direction we don't need to do anything to actually mess up the scale we know that we our our scale is there so whenever our scale is there I don't need to change anything right hope that makes sense you can copy and paste whatever line of codes are here this will be in the description there will be like a text link and you can download that script and mess around with it or you can just go ahead and write and whatever okay so let's duplicate that and pop up it here let's go and see what happens as you can see it works fine it works really nice okay let's go a bit okay first let's turn off that snapping mode and pop it there then turn off it again okay let's go we have our enemy moving around that's what we want and thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna see you in the next video peace I'm a girl about a 10 I should fuck her in the best